Oh shit. Yo, what's good? Shalom. Oh shit. Welcome to the YouTube channel. All praises to Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of GMS. We back out here on uh We up on OSU campus. It's Memorial Day weekend. So shit is fucking dead. Ready to get it in? Got my sword. You know what I'm saying? Down here to vex the souls of the wicked. So John. I, I got a scripture to lead it off with. Just going we just gonna go in the spirit, you know what I mean? What you looking at? What y'all motherfuckers looking at? We got weirdos looking at us like we're weird, you know what I mean? Let me get this scripture. Uh, Proverbs 29 and 1. He that being often reproved hardeneth his neck shall suddenly be destroyed. And that without remedy. All right, so there's no remedy for America. You know what I'm saying? There's no magical potion they can drink. You know what I'm saying? America's finished. It's about to be destroyed. But this is the point I want to get right here. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. That's why you don't see nobody rejoicing out here. That's because the righteous are not in authority. Like, brother, we just, before we turn the camera on, we was talking about the Byzantine Empire, right? Like, you got a Memorial Day, people trying to remember the uh, the fallen soldiers that died protecting America's freedom. You know that's some bullshit. You, really, you should be remembering, like, the brothers up in Constantinople when they died died defending the, uh, the city of Constantinople against the Edomite Turks. You know what I'm saying? Cause ain't none of y'all remember that. Y'all don't even know about that. You know what I'm saying? These people don't know about Constantinople. They don't know about no Byzantine Empire. These people are dumb as hell. They don't know shit. I'm talking about some goddamn Memorial Day. I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful for the soldiers defending our freedoms. Let me read that again though. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. So you see everybody mourning out here. Everybody, that's why you got all these protests popping off. People are poor as hell. Ain't nobody, uh, ain't nobody out here rejoicing. Everybody's mourning. That's because the wicked is in power. The wicked is the Edomites. Because the Esau is bearing rule. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest parts of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt well understand that it is this very same Then shalt thou understand that it is this very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Are oh, you going to see the uproars of the people in the world? That's why you got all these riots popping off. You got people getting down at these riots, like at the Berkeley riots. Motherfuckers getting punched in their face. Oh, they gonna, getting they stabbed. Gonna Soon they're going to bust out the guns. You know what I mean? Because you may have all these Second Amendment lunatics. They always talking about, that. they got my guns, they got these for the race war. You know what I mean? So soon it's gonna be it's gonna get crazy out here. You're gonna have the left versus the right, black versus white, rich versus poor. You know what I'm saying? It's just about to get real, for real out here. But we're gonna rejoice on that day. God and the God won't have no more authority. No more what you wanna call liberty? Yeah, they ain't gonna be liberty. Yeah. What's that the black God? 
Oh, the woman? The woman ain't gonna have no liberty on that day. Cause look, that's the reason the society is so fucked up to begin with, is cause they let women rule over the men. It, Cause look, if they didn't have women, they wouldn't be able to operate the BMV. They wouldn't, the, the courts wouldn't be able to operate. The sheriff's department wouldn't be able to operate because behind the scenes is women just keeping all that together, you know, doing it. Yeah, 911, that all, you call 911, a woman's going to answer it. So, so because the man ain't got time for all that shit. We, we ain't trying to uphold no police department and no goddamn courts. Cause that shit threatens our freedom. The courts, the sheriff, all that bullshit, it threatens our freedom. So it's, it's all, you see them black bitches that got fired from 911? They fall asleep when the call come on. They fall asleep during the call. That's good though. I no. hope more of them fall asleep during right. the call. So they used a woman to enslave the man. Hey, just like that uh, dude, uh, what? He killed, just killed eight people? Oh. Over what? Over an adulterous woman. The woman wasn't letting see his kids. So he just killed everybody in his sight. What was it at? You know, South Was that Mississippi? Yeah. Yeah. That's what happens when a woman gets liberty. She causes death, and they blame the man for that. That wasn't the man's fault. No, there's something called cause and reaction. There's something that causes something, and then there's a reaction. You know what I'm saying? The woman was an adulterous whore, wasn't letting the man see his children. So guess what? He reacted. And he went on a fucking killing rampage. He killed his deputy too. He killed the sheriff's deputy. So that's what you get for selling out your people and being a sheriff's deputy. Hey, what did he say? He said, uh, he said that dude didn't, that, he said that cop didn't have to die for him. Right. Well, he felt bad he for it. Just, right, right. He said he should have just stayed out of my business. He should have stayed out of his and business. That's, that's biblical. Because he said, because uh, somebody called the cops. Well, just let a man handle his own business. Right, right. You always got these Uncle Tom, Captain Saber hoes calling the cops. How about you mind your own goddamn business? Or you could be the next one uh, taking a dirt nap, pushing up daisies. You know what I'm saying? But really, that was the spirit of the Lord that got on that guy. That was the spirit of the Lord right there to cause all that death. That was all the hand of the Lord. And we praise the most high. I thought it was beautiful when I heard that story. He took him out, bro. Most High put the spirit on him. He lost it. Because when the Most High put his spirit on you, you get in that trance-like state. You can't. You got no control over your actions. Yeah, he, his plans was to commit suicide by the cops killing him. Yeah, he ran out of bullets. He ran out of bullets. Well, he was probably wicked too, so the Lord used him. You know, he looked like a piece of shit. Yeah, you know he's a piece of shit. But the Lord still, he put judgment on a lot of people that day. You could be next, you know what I'm saying? It's one motherfucker who passed judgment. It's one. Yep. Here you go, this is Leviticus 20 and 10. And the man that committed the adultery with the other man's wife, even he that committed the adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulterer shall surely be put to death. Right, but in America, there's no punishment for adultery. Okay, back in the ancient world, you were not allowed to commit adultery. You committed adultery, you got put to death. Simple. There was no such thing as a divorce either. Divorces were very rare. You know what I'm saying? People get all shocked and bugged out when a man kills an adulterous woman. Well, she wasn't committing adultery and being a whore, there'd be no problem. If families stay together, you won't even have all this violence. Children be growing up right, growing up with the proper discipline. You know what I'm saying? Neighborhoods be looking nice. You go through the neighborhoods, there's trash all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Dope fiends everywhere. That's all because the families is all broken up. They ain't no order. They done, they done, uh, done away with the ordinance of the most high. The children ain't being brought up with no scriptures. You're supposed to teach the children the scriptures from the day they born. You know what I mean? What's up, bro? Sorry, he's interested, you know what I'm saying? What's your man? Uh, hey, my man, my man. Where you from? Where you from? No, no, uh, uh, Mexican. Mexican? Well, North High, South, with limited stops to downtown. Mexican-American. Okay. 
old are you? Yeah. This is for you and your family. Yeah. Yep. So, we're, the, we're the people of the Bible, the Israelites. You're an Israelite. Yeah, you're an Israelite. You know the Mexicans are Israelites, right? You knew that? Private Israel card. Right here, my man. Right here. Here's your call. That's who you are in the Bible. When you read the Bible, that's you. Here's your call. Okay? The so called. That's the Lord's holy people. Here's your call. So called Mexicans. That's what they call you now. Mexican. Because that's not a, that's not who you are. That's who the devil named you. Just like he named us so called Negroes, black people. Those aren't they're, those are not our real names, you know? I'm gonna show you what the Lord said about uh the Israelites. Right. That's the what, whole purpose of them rename of us is so we won't learn the truth. So if you don't know the truth, if you don't know who you are, you can't be on that path of finding the truth. So that way they keep you in uh, servitude. Right, right. You know, they keep you in slavery. So we are, when you pick up that Bible and read it, you're reading our history book, the most accurate history book on this planet. And this Bible is a threat to the world power structure. Right. To the, it's a threat to the government and their power. What they do, band it out of the, uh, the, uh, the uh, public school system. Yep. That's why they, when you go to the courts, they're not judging you according to the Bible. If we was judging according to the Bible, they might have to put all the judges to death. You know what I mean? All the cops going to have to get put to death. All, all the senators going to have to get put to death. That's just the way it is. They judge us by man's law. Right. Wait, wait a minute. Man's precinct. You got homosexual judges. How you going to have a homosexual judge? You go to church. Yep. You go, he got gay pastors. You got, you got faggot pastors. What kind of crazy shit is that? Here you go, Isaiah 29 and 13. Wherefore the Lord saith, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precepts of men. Yeah, because these put, put, they follow the ways of men out here. They didn't follow the ways of the Lord. They'll, they'll have the utmost respect for the white man's law. Oh yeah, he looking at that. You can see that's a Jake for your life. Yeah, you, but you see how Jake though, they scared to death of the government and the law. They, like, they don't want to break the government's laws, but they got no respect for the laws of the Lord. You know what I mean? They'll do everything the government says, but they don't care about what the Lord What's said. What's up, though. my man? Uh, go ahead, if you got something, bring it up. Habakkuk 1 and 4, it said, Therefore the law slacks, and judgment doth never go forth. Yeah. For the, ain't no, yeah, there ain't no judgment out here. Go ahead. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceeded. Yeah, wrong ju judge proceeded. You know what I'm saying? Like the scripture like we was talking about earlier about adultery. According to the judgments of the Lord in the Bible, if a woman commits adultery against a man, the punishment for that is death. But if a man carries out that punishment and kills that woman, he'll get locked up. What kind of backwards ass shit is that? You know what I mean? That man was defending his family. Right, he was defending his family. Exactly. He was defending his family, his name, and the ju his honor. Because, right, when a woman commits adultery on a man, right, that, 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 that's an embarrassment. That's an embarrassment to the family. So right, to, to correct that embarrassment, to balance it out, she got to get put to death. <laughs> yep, but both the adulterer and the adulteress must be put to death. Yep. As soon as that terror erases out of his mind through time, you get the balls to go do that shit again. No, these people that they, they have a problem with that. We say that, they're like, nah, that's that's fucked up. No, you're fucked up. You fucked up. Wait, wait a minute, they saying the Lord is fucked up. You saying the Lord's fucked up. Yeah, Here you go. This is Deuteronomy 22 and 22. Loud, I forgot how loud it was out here. <laughs> See, she probably ran into the people in the red, the clowns in the red, purple. I didn't even understand that she said. Yeah, she's fucking shit. She can barely walk. Sound like she smokes a carton of cigarettes a day. Right. She come up to you like, hey, what's up, bro? 
she looked like a truck driver. <laughs> If a man be found lying with a woman married to a husband, then they shall both of them die, both the man that lay with the woman and the woman, so shalt thou put away evil from Israel. That's how you put evil away from Israel. But that's why you, the evil flourishes out here, because we're not following the commandments of the Lord. And she is, she's nasty. That's over there begging. Somebody gonna hit that too. It's a tear. Yeah, it is. It's a tear. 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 She goes, she disappeared. She's, she gotta go to scratch her neck. She was over there, like digging up inside of it. She still is. Hold up, we gotta get it. And she was just getting on us. This lady right here had the nerve to curse us. We just bring it out from the filth of this world. Nah, that's I'm making fun of her. And that's the spirit that we're talking about women, man. That's an example of the women. She came up here talking shit to right, us. She was talking shit, so that's a... That's she thing. had a problem with us talking about that adultery thing. Over there, nasty bitch got crabs and shit. Because, you know, that, that tells you, you know, she was a nasty whore. She probably just got done sucking a dick for $10. You know what I mean? That's how they do it. $10 is what they charge you. That, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not lying. Look, the average price of a blowjob is on one of these hoes on the street is $10. I've had her come up walking down the street, walking down, uh, we was walking down Main Street a couple months ago, late at night, and this girl came up. She's like, I usually do 20 but I can do y'all for 10 Damn. Damn. Yeah, you know, they'll do you one at a time. They'll, line, they'll run on down the line on your ass. For $10, bro. And she looked good too, but I didn't do. I don't. I don't do prostitutes. That's not my deal. I mean, I probably five. Maybe I should. I don't know. <laughs> hey, but really, I mean, there's really no difference between a prostitute and the average woman. Because the average woman, she's a prostitute. Just, you know, she's no better than a prostitute. My man, you ever seen the movie UFO movies? You ever seen UFOs? You know what a UFO is? Flying saucers, aliens. You know nothing about that stuff? You never seen it in the movies or nothing like that? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's the chariot of the Lord. That's the angels. You know what an angel is? Yeah. What, what, what do you think they fly around in? They fly around and well, that's why they call them UFOs. They try to say they're aliens. And they try to get the people to hate them. It's like, oh, they're a threat to us. Um, I'm trying to, uh, is the Lincoln thing on? Oh, is that right? They're going to the flying road? This is the first. Yeah. Go ahead, get a Zach Ryder, get whatever one you got first.
is Acts 1 and 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, uh. both in Jerusalem. My fault, he's just some dirt and goofy ass. It's okay, so hard to concentrate out here. It's gonna be like one of my old fifties horror movies. <laughs> Attack of the killer crabs. <laughs> it came out um, motherfuckers came out of the mutated pussy. <laughs> and they had like her head on each one of them. <laughs> Talking to you. Talk Evil. That bitch looked evil too, man. Over there. Ugh. See, they're scratching it. You saw it. You saw it. Scratch it. Ugh. That bitch was actually like, you know. <laughs> I wish I would have got all of it on camera. I mean. You see shit like that. Because she was, at first, she was really getting inside of it. She was digging. Oh, we got distracted. We just trying to talk about chariots. She was digging. Right. Have you done little kids, this is things like that grabs their interest, you know. Oh, the UFO? Yeah, yeah. They don't even know what adultery <laughs> is. Everything you tell them, they remember it, man. Yep. Everything, man. Dave was living with, you know, them, them dirt bags. There she go again, them dirt bags. Uh, he was living with off, you know, yeah. South Side. That little kid he was always talking to, man. That boy knew everything the scriptures, man. Let me get back in this. The Holy Spirit has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of his sight. Yeah, cloud, that's talking about a chariot. A so-called UFO. A lot of times in the Bible, the, uh, the scriptures refer to the chariots as clouds because they didn't have a word UFO because, first of all, that means unidentified flying object. In the ancient world, we knew what that was. We knew that was the angels. So, But they appeared like a cloud because you ever seen a UFO uh, or, or a chariot? A lot of times they appear as a ball of light anyway. And they kind of do resemble a cloud at times. You know, a What's that on? There's a website there. Let me see what I can Because a lot of times it looks like an orb. Sometimes you might see one that looks like a flaming uh, fire. Well, like, I ain't saying that. It's like two weeks ago. You know how them clouds, some of them clouds that look like, they look like you were throwing. Oh, them giant ones? One was that way. Get it! Out yeah. east. And that motherfucker's huge, man. That's the first time I seen one here in Columbus. That type of cloud. I'm going to get a preset. 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 I'm going I'm going to get Psalms 104 and 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who covers thyself with light as a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. That tells you the Lord makes the clouds like his chariot, and he walks upon the wings of the wind. So that's how we know that when the scriptures mention in the clouds, that's talking about a chariot. Okay, uh, so called. Look at this crazy ass bitch. She's just stuck in the street. Oh, but she was just like standing right in the middle of the street. This is her. She looked like a, she got the zombie walk, don't she? It's like. She brains. Like, from that part of the rise, it was that big, man. It was big as hell. It was out there for the longest, I'm probably going to see it. <laughs> you know, let me see if I can. That was over.
Let me see it over on this one too. See if we can pick it up. Damn, that looks like a chariot, don't it? Right, right. That that's crazy. You took that picture? No, no, I didn't take this. That was in Columbus though, right? But yeah, sometimes like brother was saying that the, the chariot will uh, conceal itself within the clouds. You know what I mean? I got some I got some UFO scriptures. Oh, what you got? Okay. Yeah, so uh, read that one part by received by a cloud. Because when they called Jesus Christ, first of all, his name's not Jesus. In the ancient Hebrew, you know the Lord spoke ancient Hebrew, right? His name in Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, right? So, but when Yahweh Shai left the earth, the scriptures tell you that he, he went up into the sky when he left the earth. But they don't ever talk about this in church. When you go to church, they don't tell you how the Lord, when he died, he came back to life. And then they say he went up into the sky. What does that mean? You know what I mean? How about we explain that? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Verse 9, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. You're right, he was taken up, and a cloud received him. I mean, he got beamed up. He got beamed up like Star Trek. Go ahead. And while they looked steadfastly 